Let's also talk about the arguably one of the most remarkable goals ever scored by a man in a green jersey. Uh, you know what I'm talking about, of course. Yeah, I sort of remember that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, let's, let's have a little look at it before we discuss it. famous shinner. Yeah, well go on, explain that. Um, I don't know, everybody keeps calling it a shinner, but um, no, I don't even know why I was there. That wasn't my position to be in. Yeah. But on that night or afternoon, whatever it was, I don't know what happened to that team. Yeah. Now, we had a lot of gifted international footballers that could play. That afternoon we decided to play. Jack didn't tell us to go out and play. Jack told us the same thing, put it in the corners and go up and, and, and attack them. But we played some tremendous football that yeah. afternoon. It was probably one of the best performances of an Irish team we've seen for an awful long time. But on that occasion, it was just a long throw from Mick. I just decided to get myself on the edge of the box, see what happens. I think Paul was playing. Paul played a little bit more defensive than me. And when it comes across, you just think, I might make a right fool of myself here, but I don't <laughs> really care. It's a European Championships. If it goes in, I'm a bit of a hero, but how long is it now? It's 23 years or something like that, and yeah. people still remember it now.